Come on, Vanessa, you said we're from number seven. We'd love to live in Vanessa. Ah, but it's okay, yeah. Come on, take my photo. No, well, this is a, this is a, this is a video. Oh, so oh, talking to you. <laughs> and, uh, tell us about yourself and and where you come from and your family, Ballyclough. Okay, I live in Ballyclough. The place to live in. Um, I'm a mom, wife, mother, whatever. Three kids: Timmy, fifteen; Cleona, thirteen; and Paul, twelve. And we live in Benetton. I'm married to Khan, he's a farmer, and he has me stuck over here. It's nothing else to do but go to Dairy Gold for him. Okay, that's it. And uh, you're a long time working here? 42 years. You're always from Lombardstown, all the time. I'm, I'm from Lombardstown, but I live in Kilburn. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is it many? Are you a family man? I have seven families. Oh, yeah. And what do you sell here? What is it that you sell? F fuel, uh, f petrol, diesel, uh, coal, ration, the shop and sale, and there's other help ones in the shop. My name is Ashley Queen. Um, I live here in Lansman. and I'm 24. I've uh, been here all my life. Um, I work in town though, not in the village. Um, <laughs> Any questions? Do you go to school here or anything? No, I work in Charleville. I don't work here. But I travel from here every day. I stay at home with my parents. So, um, when I do move out, I probably won't live in the village. I'll probably go and move to town. I can close to everything. And you happy enough here, yeah? Yeah, very happy. I prefer, I prefer living here though because it's quiet. I prefer the quietness. And yeah. <laughs> my name is Tim Hill Ryan. We have been here since 1892. And uh, I worked on my life in between million numbers now. And um, we have the post office, which we very nearly lost. Uh, we fought and got it, but it's under stress again. So we hope to be able to maintain it and to get on to the local politicians. We have a local councillor who we hope to get elected again in, um, in the co forthcoming county council election. And um, we have a railway station which was closed. Uh, the creamery was closed, so rural Ireland is, or part of the country is being destinated by governments of all parties. They have no interest in rural Ireland, only in towns and cities. Here yeah, unemployment is very high because the sugar factory has gone, dairy gold to a certain degree has gone, uh, uh, round trees and bordens and uh, the cheese factories have gone. So. There's completely uh, no employment for the youth. What is your name? Uh, my name is Montana. I'm married to Kilmore. I live in Lombard Town, you know, the, the by the tourist. And how did you come to live here? Uh, I actually come to Ireland, you know, for working visa and I found my husband uh, 10 years ago. And you're happy here? I am, yeah. Yeah. Very much. And uh, what do you like best about Lombard Town? Yes, it is. Very quiet area, you know, and nice people. And which country are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Thailand. Oh, yeah. Yes. And do you want to talk about your family? Or? Um, in Lombard Town yeah. and Thailand. Both. Yes. Both. Um, I have two, two children. You know, they all grow up, you know. One is 17 and one 11. Two boys. You know. Um, yeah. he's in, uh, the, first, uh, the older one is uh, in David College. At the moment, you know, he's doing junior sir. And the second one, the Hand School, he's a fourth captain. Okay. Okay, well, sure, I'm just from up the road there near Atlanta, and I've lived there all my life. Um, I'm from a farming background up there. And um, it's just like any other country, village, really, I suppose. It's probably gotten a bit quieter in more recent years. And um, it's kind of a bit anything else to say. And what's your own name? I don't know. Julie, to be
Yeah, yeah I'm living 15 miles away from here. Call in here on a regular basis, going over with the business there, all agricultural stuff and cattle feed. But all bits and pieces like that. Yeah. It's yeah. a good spot to meet someone as well. Eh? Yeah. Do you like it here, yeah? Oh, gee, it's a great, a great place. Yeah. Great area, great store here. This is a good store. Eh? Well, you're from Lombardstown, yes, uh, yeah. Yes. So, do, do you enjoy now, living here? Yes. And you well settled in? Yes, now, yeah. After 30 years nearly, so I should be. Yeah. And what do you like about Lombardstown? Rural. Yeah. It's rural, and it's it's home. And you've well settled with your family here, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Do, you, do you want to talk about them? You don't need to if you don't Oh, want. well, I have a husband, three children, and they're all college students and graduated and graduating and whatever. So that's... And you're doing a bit of business here today? Yes, this is our local. This is local, local. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Murphy from Clarny. And Philip O'Connor from Beaufort. And are you, do you live in Lombardstown? No, now? we just group of young cyclists here now was today we're doing there's a race now in an hour's time mm. out in the um so I think it's probably up the main road. Up the main road, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> there's a time trial there because can't talk to three day they're having a cycle race so we decided I'll tell you now about Lombardstone. I'll go back to Lombardstone when I was about 10 years and this was a pure kind of industry. We had one shop in here, one stop shop in here. Ever before Dunstalls came to Mallow or, or Tesco, we had a bakery, confectionery, hardware, butcher, drapery, and then so with supper rooms, which is very unusual at the time. We had AIB in Mallow come out three days a week with a bank, we had a post office, and the milk used to be taken from here down to the railway station, which was uh, operating at the time, and used to be sent to Dublin dairies to make uh, ice cream. So we had a pure 86 people that were employed here at that time. And Lumberstown Bakery and Confection was known all over Park County and in parts of Kerry. So, then of course, Whopper sold to Benny Clark at the time and they just took away all what they had. What happened exactly? A train actually derailed a steam train. Uh, uh, it was an excursion train with um, English tourists that uh, were visiting Killarney on a, a cheap sort of a, an overnight excursion where they, would, they wouldn't book in anywhere or sleep anywhere like they just sleep in the train. Of course the train journey is much longer than in, in the steam era and they'd sleep in the boat over and the boat coming back and that was their accommodation. But there were 250 out of them on this excursion. It would appear that the train into the station at too high a speed and it was being diverted into um, a siding because the mainline train was coming in the opposite direction. And whether the driver expected being an excursion that he'd have a clean run through, we're not too sure. But he came in a bit too fast anyway, and wasn't able to take the turn when he turned into the siding. And the train left the tracks, broke the tracks, crashed into a bank, a couple of carriages telescoped, and there was a meeting, of course.